Imagine spending 40 years behind bars and not in a prison, but in your mom and dad's apartment. I'm Michael McCredden talking about one poor man's living conditions here for you on IO. Peng Wenging is a 48 year old Chinese man who has been living behind bars since the age of six. His mother, also strangely named Peng, last name's different, Wei Mei, her and her now deceased husband have chosen to lock up their son for the past 40 years in their cramped Chinese apartment out in the city of Zhangzhou. They feed him through the cage and never let him out in fear that he may hurt himself or others. When the boy was just a baby, he had an extremely high fever. He then began suffering from epileptic fits at the age of six. Out of fear that he would hurt himself, the father couldn't afford medical treatment. Instead, he built a series of small cages. They continued to grow as the young boy grew. His mother says that when he was a young boy, he would find debris like broken glass or knives and he would begin to cut himself. Also, when he was walking, sometimes he would just fall down a flight of stairs. This was obviously very dangerous. The husband has since passed away. The mother, she is now an elder. She's in her 80s and she fears that she'll be passing soon and now she's wondering will anyone like to take her son? She'll even throw in the cage. Now this isn't my first time here on IO talking about China and crazy things taking place. Many people out in China, especially in the countryside, if they suffer from a mental illness, they go on living their life without any medical help. The country lacks resources, they also lack qualified professionals, and a lot of people are just so low income they couldn't afford such a thing. This is unfortunate news for Peng because he has spent his entire life in a cage. Imagine what a little help would have done this guy could have lived his life. Now I know this is inhumane, but people out in China, some of the low income people in Hong Kong, they actually pay to sleep in cages. That's right, they can't afford to buy a house, buy an apartment. What they can afford is a cage in an apartment. There's like a dozen in a room and then they climb up and bunker in and that's where they sleep. They can't afford anything else. What do you guys think of this story? Can you believe this guy's been allowed to spend his entire life in a cage? That no one's stepping in to assist this family, this mother? Well, now she's putting the message out there. Maybe a North American family will warm their heart and embrace this young man and bring them over. But after spending so many years in a cage, would he be able to adjust? Would he be able to comprehend a life of freedom? The other side of the coin is people get locked up and thrown in prison all the time when they commit a crime. If this guy's so unstable, and maybe it's likely he would commit a crime and he'd end up in prison anyway. Anyway, I want to know what you think, so let us know in the comments below. Also, if you want more information on this story, be sure to check out the links. I'm Michael McCrudden, and I'm happy I don't live in a cage.